Hello, today I'm going to be making an oak leaf. This is a lot like the leaf that I made a couple of videos ago, which we just turned into a keyring. I'll probably end up making this into a keyring as well, although oak leaves can be used in, you know, loads of different things, go on gates or whatever the hell you want. So let's get on with it. This is the tool that we're going to use to make the oak leaves. It has these deeper veins in it which are situated on so that they're going to be on the, the lobes that come out of the oak leaf to make those sort of more pronounced. And this way we get a protruding vein rather than a vein which is cut in with a chisel. Also it's locked into the anvil with this bar underneath which is driven through a hole and that means that this isn't going to go anywhere which prevents this bouncing and if it if when you're hammering on it and it bounces you can then get the veins to overlap and it looks really bad so what we're going to do is we're going to get that piece of rectangular bar it's 30 mil wide by five and we're going to section off a little bit and make that into sort of a long spoon shape and then hammer that straight into here this way we don't have to cut the oak leaf profile before, we'll do it after so it matches where these deeper veins are. What we should really do is get a laser cutting made, you know, a plasma cut, a laser cut, whatever you want to do, of this shape, or rather get one made and then make a tool to match the shape. That's probably the best way to do it, but this way is just, I don't know, a bit of a cheating way to do it, I suppose, as we just punch veins in the entire thing and then cut it all together. But anyway. Let's get on with it. Okay, I've taken another heat to refine this shape a bit more, just to isolate that material. So next heat, I'm going to take a cross peen and spread that isolated sort of spoon material out a bit more, just so it's a little bit thinner. And then this will then give us a bit more width for the oak leaf. And also it means that we don't have sort of excess thickness. So next here, I'm just going to work on the edges, just with that ball peen. The ball peen, you know, reduces surface area contact, so we get more pressure going in, so we get more force moving the material into the veins. So I've just worked those edges just a little bit more. We've got plenty of width here, so I'll. Now, come in with an angle grinder and just cut in, you know, the shape of the, the oak leaf.
Okay, so we've just roughly cut those lines in just to match where the veins come out. Uh, now what we're going to do is just sink it a bit and shape it around with some tongs just to make it a bit more natural rather than it just being, you know, flat. So I've just, you know, tweaked this around a bit. Those scrolling tongs can be used just to bring the edges in or out. And uh, I think, you know, you can do loads of different things with oak leaves. But I think just to finish this off, I'll just curl the end up and make it into a key ring. Alright, so I've realised I've put this curl the wrong way, so I'll just twist it around. It's because I'm going to bend this into a shepherd's crook, so, you know, I'll 90 that, wrap it around. This process creates quite a natural looking leaf, you know, stamping the veins in to get them to come out of the steel rather than chiselling them in, you know, which is quite different to what a lot of people do nowadays with their sort of more stylized leaves. This is sort of more a realistic leaf, which, you know, you, you sometimes I like the stylized ones, but I think I prefer this. And also this can be quicker sometimes, you know, when I'm doing those smaller leaves, it's just, you know, a heat and, all your veins are in where sometimes on a stylized one you might take a heat to get it roughed in and then another heat to punch them in slightly better I don't know but I really like this it sort of gives a bit of a different different feel to the leaf and so yeah thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one hopefully